So there's a budgie. I can hear it in the tree somewhere. I had my sliding glass door open like with the screen shut on my bird room and my budgies were singing. And I thought I heard another budgie singing somewhere else. I can't see it though, but I, I do hear it. So I put my budgies outside and it is a rainy day. So it's not raining right now, but listen to them chattering away. I can't see it though. It's up there. I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. I just need to see it. There it is. Oh my God, do you see it? It's green, it's green. It's green, it's, it's, it's on the tree with the flowers. I don't want to go close because I don't want to scare it away. I mean, if it's really tame, it'll fly to me. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think it's green. I don't know if I saw it, but it just flew up into those uh, flowers. Where is it? It's hard to see with all these um, branches and leaves. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a beauty. Hello. There it is. Oh. oh my god. Hello. Hi. Come on. Hi, pretty baby. He's not, he's not flying away yet. Go see my budgies and you can come into my house. We'll find you where you live, where you came from. Oh my gosh. Is that gorgeous or what? I knew I heard one. Sometimes the sparrows will sound like a budgie. And you know me, I'm a bird freak. I'm like, is that a budgie? Is that a budgie? But it's, it's a sparrow. But this time it is a budgie. Anyway, I'm hoping I'll see my budgies and go over there. Oh, it's not coming down. Come on. Hello. You know what? Maybe if I just uh, stand back, it will fly over there and I can just uh, wheel my cage into the bird room. But look at that. Oh, I think it is going to come. You know, I'm going to go right over here. There it goes. It just went over my house. Oh, it's like Jack. If you haven't seen my video of, of catching Jack, um, you got to go watch that. And a lot of people thought I was catching a wild bird from outside because I said, oh, it's not a tame one. What I meant is, or no, I said it's a wild one and they thought it was a wild budgie. But I'm here in Ontario, Canada. Budgies are not from here. They're from Australia. This is a lost pet, a loose pet budgie. And obviously it's looking for food because I do have bird feeders here. So I'm gonna check back on my wise cams and see if I have seen it eating. And usually um, budgies, especially budgies when they get out, they, oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, it's leaving, please don't leave. Go. Oh, it'll be back because it's all my budgies. I hear it. It's singing way over there. I know my budgies will lure it in. Wasn't it beautiful? I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, when I said it was a wild budgie, they think I'm catching a, a budgie from Australia. But these are pet birds. They need to be captured. Um, we have wicked winters here, freezing cold, ice, snow, you know, nothing for them to eat. And they do need to be captured to be brought inside. And of course, yes, I will try to find its owner. And hopefully there are ads up or they'll see my ad and um, can find its owner. I hear it chirping over there. Look where it is. He's coming to see my budgies. Oh my gosh. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna pull my budgies cage closer to um, my door. Look at it. I wish it would, oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, look, this is how I caught Jack. I'm gonna roll the cage in, but I have to turn off the camera. Scared it away, I don't know where it went, but I'm sure, look what I did. I just put the cage right there. Oh, where is it? Oh, that was a different bird. Um, and I'm hoping it, it will land on top of that, and then I'll just close the door. There it is, I hear it. Oh, there you are. Come on, okay, I'll stand back, okay? All right, so I scared it away and it flew back into the tree. So what I did was I rolled in the cage hang on a sec, into my house so I don't have to go over that ledge there. And I'm quite sure it's going to fly right on top of the cage and I'm gonna, there it comes, and I'm gonna shut the door. Isn't it beautiful? It's like a light green. It's gonna go, I know it will. 
And now I'm very um, interested in looking back on my wise cam to see if it has come to the feeders. But my feeders right now um, don't have much food in there. So it must be hungry. See all the sparrows? Um, so whenever you lose your bud budgie, look for a group of sparrows. They're all in my backyard and knock on people's doors and ask if they have a bird feeder and if they've seen a budgie. Because I guarantee they hang out with sparrows and pigeons. Just always, there it goes, there it goes. Look at this, look at this, look at the shoot. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down, down the stairs because maybe I'm like in its way. Okay, okay, let's see. Where'd he go? He's on the roof, right there on the other side. I know, I know it's gonna go in, I just know. There, no, don't, 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 don't. No, he's flying everywhere. It's up there now, on that tree, you can see like, so it's sort of like, if my finger's in the right position, right there. Let's see if I can zoom up a little bit. Yeah, there it is. See it moving around? Please go in. So maybe if I just back off and he will fly in and go into my bird room. There it comes, there it comes, there it goes. See, 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 see. Oh my God, it's in my room. Now only if I can go shut the door without it flying away. <laughs> that was an easy catch. I think Jack took me many, many hours. Look at that. I'm going to wait till it goes to the top because it can fly off really quickly. He's happy to see other budgies. I'm, I'm just worried to walk too fast. Oh my gosh. Go on top. He's going to the top. Going to the top. Going to the top. Walking like a, a stealth uh, cat. Oh, is it ever pretty? Oh, look at Thunder. He's like, wow, who are you? Oh, look, they're making friends. Oh. <laughs> Who's that, Thunder? Okay, okay. I'm getting closer. Okay, this is zoomed up so I can go back. So this is how far. It's in like 9.35 in the morning. I just literally let my dog out and I heard a budgie singing. And there was a cockatiel in my backyard a few weeks ago. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I'm shutting the door, I'm shutting the door. Should I go quickly or slowly? I'm kind of close, I'm kind of close. The door is like stuck, I don't know why it's not moving. Why is it not moving? Okay, it's like, uh oh, shoot, it's looking at me. I'm afraid if I get close, I'll, I'll get it stuck in the door. Oh, did you see that? It did try to get out. It's in my room. How exciting. Now I got to get in there. Hmm, how am I going to get in? Okay, well, I'm going to wait here for a bit until I see it on the other side of the room and then go in because it'll come back out. And my side door is not open. Okay, that was really fast. It only took, what, five, ten minutes? Hey, whoops, here he is. He's just flying around everywhere and he's actually clinging to the sides of the bird cages and they don't know him so they're getting a little bit agitated. So I'm going to have to catch him and that's, that's the hardest part is to catch him into a cage. So possibly I'll put a cage on top of the bud cage, the budgie's cage. I'll put him a cage up here and hopefully he'll go in because he, he might be like hungry. Oh, hello. Hi. You are so cute. And where do you live? All right, so I just put a small cage on top of my budgie cage. I put water, budgie seed, and millet like at the back of the cage. Look at this. I hope he goes in and I can shut the door. So it's basically I'm doing two rescues. One to get him in my house and one to get him in a cage. Then to see if there's any last bird ads and post an ad. Right in front of the cage. Go on, just up. Go look up. He's trying to like go down. He wants to get in, get in the bees budgie. I always find you gotta lure, you gotta lure a budgie with another budgie, or with spray millet. He's trying to get in. Hi, you are so pretty. Look at you. 
That's a nice color of green, eh? It's just light. A light um, green, not like the usual dark green that buddies have. You are so pretty. Oh, he just keeps walking back and forth and back and forth and looking down at my budgies. Maybe what I'll do is I'll move that millet and hang it out of the door and that way he'll see it. So what I did is I just put the millet like that so that he'll see it and hopefully jump in and go get it. He's at the side of the cage there. Oh, there he comes. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 yes. Go see the millet. Go see the millet. It's your favorite food. And he's going closer and closer and closer. Look up. Look up, look up, look up. See, I don't want to hang too much of it out because he'll just sit there and eat all the millet and never go in. So you just got to give him a little bit and then uh, they'll see more and go inside. I just hope he doesn't sit there and just eat that and not go in. You got to look up, buddy. Look, 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 look. Oh, he's going in. I gotta shut the door. I gotta shut the door. I'm gonna use this long stick. Oh, yay! I did it. Oh my gosh. Call me the budgie catcher. Yes. Oh, it's okay. You're gonna be safe in there for a little while, okay? Because I have to go to the dentist. And then I'm gonna deal with you. Now you're safe from my other birds not biting your feet off. He landed on Sprinkle's cage, my lovebird, and they're notorious for biting a bird's feet. So that wasn't ideal. And um, this little girl, she didn't like it either. She was going to bite his feet, right? I know. See, I don't like it. I don't even know who you are. Anyways. <laughs> there we go. One caught budgie. And now I have to look for the owner. So I'll let you know what happens.